Hey everyone, in this episode, I want to talk about the narcissistic smirk. Now, if you have ever been so unfortunate as to be on the receiving end of this smirk, you know how disturbing it truly is. This is that moment when you realize the person that you thought you knew really is not the person you thought you knew. You are standing there crying in pain and the narcissist is abusing you, manipulating you, gaslighting you, just throwing every nasty thing they can at you. And the more you cry, beg, plead, and they see you just in horrific pain because they have just hurt you so bad and you look at them with tears in your eyes and every emotion that you have inside of you and they're standing there with a smile on their face as calm as can be. And I mean serial killer calm. And while you are just in horrific pain, you're looking at the person you love smiling, smiling at you with nothing to say. And it is, I remember the first time it happened to me, I said, to that man, I said, I'm standing here crying and you are smiling. There is a smile on your face. He looked at me with a smile on his face and said, no, I'm not. Just to stand there and see someone that you thought loved you smiling at the pain that they're causing you creates a wound and an unforgettable experience that you hope you never face again and it replays over and over in your mind after the experience has ended because it really is that dark of an experience it imprints on your brain and the reason you know people always ask they're like what is up with that grin has anybody seen them smile like that and i'm like yeah it's the narcissistic smirk and what happens is because narcissists are very sadistic they get pleasure from causing you pain and they, in fact, are addicted to causing pain for themselves, you know, so they're, they enjoy the pain that they inflict in their own lives. They're, it's, very, it's, it's a very disordered way of thinking. So the reason the narcissist smirks like that is because they're getting narcissistic supply off your emotional reactions. And as you, the more you, I've said before, the more you internalize their projections and their manipulations, the more they get supply, the more potent the fuel. Well, when the narcissist has you in a moment where your fuel is so potent and you are just, you're really entertaining them, they smile because that dopamine dumps in their brain and they get a rush, they get a high. off, They get a thrill off being able to control you that much, to see you in that much pain and know they have the control to cause that pain in you. It, it gives them a high. They smile from it. And there are times that the narcissist doesn't even realize they are smirking because they're standing there so high off the, the narcissistic supply that they're getting from your pain that it's like a reflex. And I did a video about this. It's literally like when you go to the doctor and they hit you in the knee and your leg jerks or in the elbow and your arm jerks, it's a reflex to them. You know, they're watching you suffer. They're getting narcissistic supply off the control they have and the ability to control your pain and your suffering. And you know, that that boggles your mind when you find out about this because you cannot understand how the person you love that you thought loved you could be smiling while they're hurting you. Well, this is why. It's because your your fuel is so potent. The more emotional you are, the bigger the reaction, the more they confuse you. You know, they get narcissistic supply and your fuel is very potent. And so it causes them to smile because they are enjoying. They're enjoying the narcissistic supply. They're enjoying how potent your fuel is while they're abusing you. And this is why it is so important to learn to master your emotions and let, you know, don't let anyone control your emotions in any shape, way, or form, not just a narcissist. And the narcissist takes this to the extreme. Everything they engage in is meant to gain narcissistic supply. And your pain and your suffering is very potent fuel to them. So potent that they smile when they are able to confuse you that much, to elicit that much of a painful reaction from you. And that smile has everything to do with the high they are getting off your supply and the enjoyment of knowing they have that kind of power. 
that they have that kind of power over you to control you, to make you suffer, to make you hurt. That makes them feel powerful because they have control. Remember, narcissists have no control over themselves. The only way a narcissist is able to have self-control and regulate themselves is if you internalize their manipulation. So when you're standing there internalizing it and it is confusing you and destroying you to your very core, the narcissist is getting potent fuel and smiling and happy knowing that they are that powerful because they don't always smile like that. But there are certain moments, you know, if they're cheating on you and they start projecting onto you and gaslighting you and accusing you of cheating because a narcissist accusations are confessions. A narcissist projections are confessions. So yeah, when a narcissist is able to get away with cheating on you by accusing you of cheating, which is a projection, and then you start defending yourself and your emotional reaction reinforces to them that you are the problem and now you've internalized their bad behavior so they use that fight as an excuse to go be with the new supply and groom the new supply and that fuel right there puts a huge smile on their face and though you may not see the smile at at that time i need you to understand that a narcissistic smirk carries in when they're grooming a new supply behind your back because that fuel is so potent the narcissist feels the most powerful when they have you that they're cheating on and making you internalize their bad behavior to and then use your bad what they consider your bad behavior <laughs> to go groom the new supply and that smirk goes to a whole new level and that's why they are so happy and smiley when they're grooming the new supply don't you remember once upon a time that was you it was because somewhere in the background they were devaluing someone else a narcissist cannot regulate themselves and have self-control in front of others or be able to put someone through love bombing without another person to devalue because their cycle is pathological. So the reason why a narcissist looks so happy during the love bombing phase is because not only are they getting supply off you from their abuse because you're internalizing their bad behavior and their dysfunction, but they're also getting supply from the new supply that they're grooming because that person is idealizing them and they have you to devalue. So that's a very important moment for a narcissist when they're cheating on you and grooming the new supply. Now that is that smile that they always wear during love bombing is like a permanent narcissistic smirk because they are constantly high. They are getting supply. They are getting dopamine from you know, whoever they're cheating on and, you know, that supply from the person they're grooming. So they're getting double dumps of dopamine and getting twice as much narcissistic supply. So that is a very important time for them with very potent fuel. And that is why they're so happy and so engaged and really believe, you know, that this new supply is really just going to fix them up because they're just high. They're just high on dopamine. So they feel that good. It is no different than, you know, a, a drug addict, you know, getting a high off their heroin. So I, I need people to understand that it really, that dopamine that hits their brain is what makes them smirk like that. And that is why a narcissist is so happy and smiley during the love bombing phase, because they are getting sub narcissistic supply from the person they're devaluing in the background, and they're getting supply from the person that they're grooming. And because a narcissist cycle is pathological, they always have to be devaluing someone in order to regulate themselves. Even if no one thinks they're talking to somebody else, there is always someone in their life in the background that they are manipulating and driving insane and devaluing to get that supply because that is the only way they can regulate themselves to stay happy in the love bombing phase with another person. And the moment you disengage and stop putting up with their behavior and withdraw, you know, when they're devaluing you and you know they're getting ready to discard you and something is going on. Once you have finally had enough and you completely withdraw, if the narcissist doesn't have anyone to devalue, that new supply automatically gets downgraded to the devalue phase almost immediately because that is the only way for a narcissist to regulate themselves. And so they will then only have moments of that smirk 
during the devaluation stage when in actuality they were wearing that smirk the entire time during love bombing for that reason because they were getting supply from devaluing you or someone else in the background and getting supply from love bombing the new supply. I hope that makes sense, but that's how it goes. So when they begin devaluing you and you only see that smirk randomly, you don't realize until after you're out of the situation and you learn about the narcissistic smirk. And I, even after I learned about the smirk, I didn't put it all together. But now when I think back during the love bombing, when the narcissist is just sitting there with that look on their face, staring at you, watching you, studying you, and they have a little smile or smirk on their face, yeah, it's actually the same smirk. It's just because we project things onto people, you see that smile at that moment as a happy smile, a positive smile, because you're feeling good and happy. But then when you see them make that exact same smile during the devaluation phase, you realize just how dark it is because you are in a dark place. And that is when you can go back and self-reflect over the love bombing. And I encourage you to do this, to think about that, to go, oh my gosh, when they were just sitting there looking at me with that smile on their face, they were studying you, testing you. And the reason why you thought that smile was a good smile is because you thought you were experiencing a good moment with them until you actually see that exact same smile when they're devaluing you and abusing you. But I'm telling you, it's still the same smile. It's called duper's delight or the narcissistic smirk. And they get that smile from the potent fuel that you are giving them. That narcissistic supply is making them that high. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode on the narcissistic smirk or duper's delight because it is a very, very interesting topic to talk about. And I know, I remember the first time I experienced the dark side of that smirk. It changed me for the rest of my life. I thought, oh my God, I, I still can see it in my head. And I think, oh my God, what was that? What is that? Because it is truly dark. And I want you to remember that that is actually the same smile they were giving you during love bombing. You just didn't realize it was a dark smile because you thought what was happening in that experience was genuine. And now you understand that it was all fake and you were just being groomed. And that is actually the same smirk that they give you when they're causing you pain later on during devaluation. So thanks for listening, guys. I really appreciate it. I, I love talking about the narcissistic smirk. I'll have to make more episodes on this, but I hope this cleared some things up on why they smirk like that when they're hurting you. Have a good night, everyone. Stay safe, stay strong, and keep getting the knowledge. You are all going to be amazing.